Hello, I'm Pat Cunningham and welcome to my series of videos uh, explaining equity release. Um, just before we start, maybe you can click that uh, subscribe button below or maybe a like button and uh, help us to build up this channel so that it becomes stronger with YouTube and it gets out to more people. Um, so we can help the people to get this message across about uh, equity release. So thank you for that. Uh, today uh, I'm going to talk about what happens uh, if and when you go into long-term care. What happens with the equity release agreement? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so um, let's look at this two ways. Uh, first, as a single agreement, just one person, and then if it's a joint agreement for a couple. So first of all, with uh, a single agreement, uh, the thing is, as soon as you go into permanent long-term care, um, then the equity release agreement ceases, it finishes. The lifetime mortgage uh, ends there, and uh, the lifetime mortgage is repayable. If you have a drawdown agreement where you've been taking regular sums um, on the agreement, that will cease. So when you go into long-term care, that's it, it's finished. Uh, the lifetime mortgage uh, balance has to be repaid to the lender. So what will probably happen is that uh, your property will be sold. Um, and then the surplus after all the costs of the selling and the lender's cost, any surplus then is given to you, uh, which you can then use for uh, paying for your long-term care. And I know that can be quite uh, a cost, 30 to 40,000 pound a year, maybe even more at the, uh, uh, the high end so uh, it needs some uh, paying for. So once you're into long-term care, that's it, the, uh, the agreement is over. Um, so it's in your interest then to get the house sold as quickly as possible, maybe using your lasting power of attorney to do that for you. Um, but this is something you'll have organized and you should organize and should understand before you uh, take on the lifetime mortgage. So that was for a single agreement. Um, if it's a joint agreement, um, again you go into long-term care but now the uh, your partner, your partner in the uh, lifetime mortgage, um, they are quite entitled to stay in the property. Uh, everything goes on as, as normal. So there's no property there. Um, as long as they're a joint owner. If, uh, of course, if they're, if they're not if they're not a, a joint and on the on the mortgage, and any other occupants of the house, of course, would have to leave, because uh, they would have signed this disclaimer. You remember about the disclaimer they have to sign to relinquish all rights to the property. Um, but of course, if they are on the agreement, they can uh, stay. Um, and uh, still you've got to cover the costs of a long-term uh, care. Now I know uh, most of the local authorities have this deferred payment arrangement where you're able to go into the long-term care and they will defer payment by putting a charge on your property uh, and then taking the money uh, at a later time. But this can't happen if there's a if there's a lifetime mortgage, because that lifetime mortgage will have a first charge on the property, and because of the accruing interest that is there, that balance is always increasing, the equity is reducing. Uh, the lenders will not permit a second charge to be placed on the property. So, if you have this lifetime mortgage. Remember, you won't be able to use this deferred payment by the local authorities for long-term care. So that's something to, uh, to take into consideration. 
Um, I think that uh, just about covers it. Um, what is long term care? Long term care is when it is certain that you would not be returning back to the property. You're, you're, you go to a care home and that would be permanent. So uh, there we are. I hope that explains it. Uh, as always, uh, you can uh, visit my website. The address has been underneath there. And um, feel free to call me. My phone number's here underneath. Um, I will call you back. Leave a message. I will call you back and answer any questions you may have. Um, and um, once again, please hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.